Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I'm in the middle of writing my second book. It's a course building workbook. And in my previous video, I kind of talked y'all through how I draft and get started with my book. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how I edit because I've just finished my draft of my book and I kind of wanted to show y'all my process and how I go through and edit it and get it ready to, you know, create the final draft. So as soon as I finished writing my book, the very first draft that I created, I printed it out and then I put it aside for like a full week. And this is what it looks like. Um, I did spill a little bit of water on it. I printed it out and I was like, okay, I need a break from this like 100 page book. I'm gonna print it out, give myself a week to breathe and then I'll start editing. So then a week later I decided, okay, now it's time to get started. And so I'm gonna talk to you about what I did and how I edited. So when I edit, I kind of do three different passes of my draft. So the first pass when I'm going through my draft is I do what I call like the initial impressions or the first run through of my book. So that's where I do a full read through from start to finish and I keep a notepad next to me of notes and I check for a few things. The first thing I check for is general flow. Is it making sense? Did I put things in the right order? If not, I don't deal with it right now, but I make a note of it on a notepad. Or if you're like me and are too lazy to get a notepad, I just make it on the back of the very first page of the book. This is my actual notes that I made on my first pass. So my first pass that I read through, I'm just checking for general flow. Is there anything that's really obvious that needs to be moved around? If there is, I just jot it down and I keep going. I do not, and I repeat, I do not stop and edit big things during this first pass. I'm just trying to get through the whole thing. If there's like one-off little sentences that don't make sense, sure, go ahead and edit. My general rule is during the first pass, I tried to only make edits that would take, you know, anywhere between one and two minutes. Also on my first pass is where I look for major word inconsistencies. So if I notice that as I'm reading through, I call the audience of my book the audience, and then I call it my learners, and then I call it my students, I just make a note of that, which I did here, so that I can go back in my second pass and just try to make sure that everything looks consistent throughout. Another thing I look for on my first pass is general formatting. So if I notice that you know some formatting looks off on different pages, I'll just make a note of that, again, on this doc. I will not edit it right then and there. I will just make a note. Okay, you need to go back and look at, you know, this page or this page. It looks inconsistent and I will keep going through. Those are kind of the main things that I look for on my first pass. Again, I just look for general flow. Then I look to make sure that sentences, you know, if there's one off sentences, I'll fix those. I check to make sure that like my terms and my words are consistent. And then lastly, I like to check for formatting. That's just all I go for in my first pass. Like I said, do not stop and make big edits right then and there. Just make a note of it. You just need to make it through that very first pass. Trust me, it saves a ton of time in the long run. I want y'all to know that me going through my first pass takes, you know, it does take time. I'll put in a montage of me editing just to show y'all that this took me like three weeks to edit. All right, so then I get to my second pass. I've gone through, I've done all my initial review. Now I'm on my second pass. That's where I can go through 
and I start to read things more critically and I can start to go through and actually make the changes that I've come up with on my list from the first pass. Maybe there's sections or paragraphs that I didn't like in the first pass. That's when I would go through and start to rewrite those paragraphs or start to edit them and really refine them. Now you have more focus on individual parts of your book that you need to edit. So say there's a few pages where there's no edits, you can totally just skip over those and then go into the pages where you know you need to edit directly. This is a good time to go through and then start to fix that flow. If you noted any flow issues at first with your first pass, it's also a good time to then edit and go through. You can even, you know, command F and find a word that might be used inconsistently and replace it with one word that you're referring to so that you can make it consistent throughout your book. Um, this is also where you can change the formatting and make sure that looks really consistent. You can make sure that spacing between things looks good, fonts are consistent, bolding is consistent. Again, I want to reiterate that this process takes a while. It's not like you just can sit there and read through a 100 page book. I mean, maybe you can, but for me, going through my second round of editing took a full week. There were things that I needed to figure out with formatting. There were days when I just did not want to look at my manuscript, but you know, just chipping away at it a little bit at a time is important. Um, but be kind to yourself if you need to take a break from it because it is a lot of work and you want this to again, be a fun experience and you want to enjoy writing your book. So make sure that you um, plan for it to take time. The third and final pass is kind of like the pass where you get to see everything um, in its final form or as close to final as you can get it on your own. And so that's when you are reading it start to finish one last time. You know, all the formatting should look nice. Everything should flow nicely. Uh, the word choice should be consistent. And that's where you can make like any final little sentence tweaks if you need to just to make sure that it's as refined as you can possibly get it. Once you've done your third and final pass, then I usually like to take a break and pass it off to someone that I trust to edit. Um, I'll probably pass it off to my partner just so that they can do a read through of it and give me their thoughts and opinions because sometimes there's just things that you miss when you're in the thick of things for so long. So it's nice to get a fresh set of eyes. Right now I've just finished my third and final pass, so mine is ready. I just need to reprint everything so that my partner can review it and then I'll kind of get the feedback and then, you know, I'll incorporate it if I need to. And then it will be ready for publishing and getting that all set up. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of traditional versus self-publishing. My first book that I ever wrote was traditionally published by No Starch Press. It's called The Coding Workbook check it out. And I've kind of played around with self-publishing a little bit, just publishing coloring books here and there. So I've kind of experienced both traditional and self-publishing. And I'm going to be in my next video talking about the pros and cons of each and kind of talking you through my decision for my next book as to whether I want to traditionally publish it or if I want to self-publish. So yeah, if that's of any interest to you, feel free to subscribe. I'll be putting out new videos about my book writing journey over the next few weeks and the next few months, kind of taking y'all along with me. And if you have any questions about the editing process and kind of how I go about writing and editing my book, feel free to comment them down below. Um, and if you missed my previous video about how I'm starting to write my book and kind of tips to get started and overcome writer's block, I'll also link that down below. So feel free to check that out. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Like here, I'll even read you some of my notes from my first pass. Notes for second pass. It literally says that at the top, uh, learners or students, pick one. Make example box cuter and darker and change font question mark add more spacing between lines glossary question mark